so I am back again, same spot as always. Um, I just want to do a quick update since I'm in my third semester. Technically now I'm done with my clinical rotation and I have officially started up my new classes. So I actually just finished my first class today. It was rather short. For rehab and wellness, just going over pulmonary rehabilitation and some of the steps you need to go through in order to place a patient on pulmonary rehabilitation as well as the process you would need to go through if you decided to start a rehabilitation program or were involved in the implementation of one. So it was actually a really interesting class, um, but basically the purpose of this video, let me get to the point, <laughs> um, is to show you guys some of my books that I'm using this semester. So for my rehab and wellness class, I use the same book that everybody else uses. I've got, we've all got 28,000 books, but we all have pretty much Egan's. I know I showed you guys this book in a previous uh, little show and tell of what books I had for the semester, but we are still using Egan's along with the workbook as well. So we are still using both of these things. I actually didn't find any errors in the recent chapters we used. We used like chapter 54, 55, and 56. And it seemed to be okay. I didn't notice anything, nothing was pointed out to us. So maybe it's just a few key chapters that have some errors in them. The next class I've started is called Emergency Care. So we're going over things of, for example, burns, airway obstruction, burns to the airway, aspiration, poisoning, near drowning. So we're going through all of these emergency situations and how they should be treated. Now we are using Egan's a little bit for that class as well, but we're using a lot of supplemental material uh, for the class also, so a lot of PowerPoints that were made up by our instructor. So I don't have a book other than Egan's to show you for that, and I've already shown you Egan's uh, twice now. <laughs> so you guys are probably tired of seeing it. Something else I wanted to throw in as well is this semester we're actually gonna be getting our ACLS. I do have the book and it's still in the packaging, don't judge me. I haven't opened it yet, but we've got the book for when we do take our L ACLS which we're gonna hopefully make some time for somewhere within the next month or so. I believe on Monday I'm actually starting my critical care techniques as well. So for that class we will be using Egan's as well as some supplemental PowerPoints that have been given to us. And we will also be using throughout all of our courses this book. So it's a respiratory care exam review by Gary Persing. And I absolutely love this book, if you can't tell, I've got little sticky notes everywhere in it. And if I open it up, lots of highlighting. So this book's really great because it kind of gives you a compact version of most of the things that you're going through throughout your course, pharmacology, um, diseases, diagnostics, patient assessment, anything you can think of. It gives you a quick rundown on it and then it also gives you MBRC style questions at the back so that you can kind of become accustomed to the way that those questions are run. And another thing about this book is it has really great online content so you can actually take practice tests that are set up like the MBRC exams and you can time it and my favorite thing about this also if you happen to get a question wrong it does, doesn't just tell you ah the answer is A not B it actually gives you a full breakdown and a explanation as to why it is the answer that is correct because obviously if we've chosen the wrong answer we probably need a little bit more insight that maybe we did not understand or grasp when we were reading about a specific subject. So absolutely love this book. I would recommend anybody to get this book because it is nice and simple and easy. Um, I wouldn't use this obviously just to learn the subject in general, but it's really great supplemental uh, material. And also if you're having difficulties understanding major details of a subject you're going over in your class, you could use this book to read a quick version of whatever the subject is. And then that will kind of help you dive in deeper when you're reading Egan's or your anatomy and physiology book or whatever book you happen to be using for that course. We do also have advanced patient assessment. So we've got 
clinical assessment in respiratory care. So I know that we did use this in, and I showed this book to you guys in my first semester as well, um, but we'll be using it because this is my advanced patient assessment. So we'll get to the different chapters that we did not get to in the other one, as well as we do have some lab checkoff sheets for um, another book, but I believe they're going to be changing the way we do our lab checkoffs. So although that is a really great book to use, I'm sure you guys have seen it on a couple of other people's uh, channels that have been doing their book reviews and showing you what they're using for this semester. Um, I'm not going to show it because I also showed that last semester. But I added in some of the main ones we'll be using, even though I already showed you this book in Egan's just to kind of give you an idea. The last class I have this semester, which I'm actually really excited for, uh, is Law and Ethics. This is the book we're using, Law and Ethics for Healthcare Professionals. Karen Judson and Carlene Harrison wrote this book, and I'm super excited for this class um, just to kind of dive into all the legalities of healthcare as well as uh, Ethics. I think it's going to create a lot of really interesting conversations in our class and I'm actually really looking forward to it. I think that this is going to be a class, especially with how excited my uh, professor is about the class, this is going to be a class that's really going to make us think. So basically, that's it. Let me see, how many weeks do I have left? Oh gosh, I don't even know. Nine. I have nine weeks of class left, guys. It's going to fly by. So. For this semester, I have nine weeks of class. I'll have a week off, and then I'll actually have, well, actually I had 10 weeks of class, but I already completed like a week and a half of it, so whatever. <laughs> um, so for this semester, I'll finish up my classes, and then I'll have a week off, and then I will go back to classes for another 10 weeks approximately, and then I will go out for my next clinical rotation because they want to make sure for my next clinical rotation that I will have been exposed to mechanical ventilation and all of those courses. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see, or if you just have questions in general, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks again for watching. Bye, guys. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, anything you'd like to see me talk about or hear me talk about, see, hear, whatever. Um